So I've been hearing a lot of awesome things about this chat GPT. It's kind of like an AI based super smart assistant. Uh, you can ask it anything and it will answer you back. Now, since I am a SolidWorks API developer, we're going to put this thing to the test with the API. So I've got SolidWorks 23 here and I've got a little GPT macro and again, we're going to ask it a bunch of questions so that we can test its VBI writing ability. So a little bit skeptical <laughs> about how this is going to um, turn out, but we'll give it a go. So let's start by asking it to create Mm. Write a SolidWorks VBA macro, SolidWorks VBA macro that creates a new part. All right, let's test this out. I'm pretty excited actually to see what the output is. All right, to create a new part in SolidWorks using VBA, uh, you can use the part doc method. Okay, I, <laughs> this actually works. Um, I mean, I got a little bit more than what I asked for. So just running through this macro quickly here, it's getting the SolidWorks application and it's calling this new part method that is part of the SLB works interface. And it's an old one. So, so actually SolidWorks does not recommend you use this one. However, this is still functional. And it added the save as, which is this is completely, completely unnecessary. So let's just ask it to um, remove, oops, remove the save as to line. Here, certainly here's a modified VBA macro that creates a new part in SolidWorks but does not have save it. Let's see. Surely creates a new part, but <laughs> see, closes the model. I don't think this function works to close that model. Um, remove the SW model line. Let's see. Let's see if she, let's see if the AI, AI gets it this time. I just want a new part. That's all I want. Yeah. Yes, the new part word being open SolidWorks. Thank you. Not a problem. If you want to close the part at a later point in your macro, you can use the close method uh, from the previous example. Let's just copy this, and I'm just going to go back to SolidWorks, um, paste it here. Oops. Uh, we just copy the whole thing, right? Put the cursor inside of this method and just click on start. It actually creates a part. This tool is super, super dangerous. Um, maybe in a couple of years time, there will be no need for VBA developers anymore. It's pretty awesome. Um, let's see if we can tell it to um, write a VBA macro that a SolidWorks VBA macro that creates a five by five cube. Now this is more complicated, I guess, but um, we'll see what the AI says. At least. <laughs> okay. Right on. Okay, sketches, that makes sense. Okay, insert sketch. It gets the active sketch. <laughs> and then it's creating those lines, one by one. So far, so good. Okay, and then it closes the sketch. 
and then it selects the lines. I think it'll select each line separately. Now I think it's missing one, uh, the database add to DD property in these guys manager, but that's completely fine. So okay, selecting those lines. A little bit too verbose, but still looks like it's it's on the right path. How many lines have we got? One, two, three, four, five. And then feature extrude. Is that all, or is that the maximum number of lines that's allowed to respond with? Let's just copy the code and then go back to here. Ah, oh, I think it missed it. Oh, this is going to regenerate that, so we, we don't want to. Oh. Let's see what it's going to do. Yeah, I guess it's going to do the same thing. Yeah, uh, let me just go back here and just remove this this extra line or this line that un it's uh, just unfinished um, and just drop this because we don't need these uh, parentheses since there is no return value and we'll run this and see what we get Let's just go back here and run this. Argument not optional. Did we miss something here? Is there four? Is there five? I think we're missing one. I don't know exactly what, the, what this uh, value should be though. Well, not bad. Not bad at all. Um, this 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 uh, chat thing is uh, this AI chat is, is very impressive. So yeah, um, I'll drop a link. I love the the link to this. Uh, tool in the description of this video and I invite everybody to try it out and see what kind of uh, fun funny output you guys get uh, while you're with, 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 with your VBA macro so it'll be interesting to see what you guys get uh, yeah make sure to like this video share it if you're watching this on LinkedIn then make sure to follow me there and if you're watching on YouTube make sure to like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel thank you for watching I'll see you in the next one